Well, class, I was thinking it was time we have a uh, tutorial on how you might uh, operate a Jaeger 105 uh, compressor. Um, for, first, to start out, you got to tow it uh, with the proper uh, patina uh, truck. Uh, this is a 57 uh, Chevrolet uh, 265 V8, which I believe to be the original. I put a, it's got an overdrive, three-speed overdrive. Um, but uh, you got to have the proper patina to tow it, and this is the compressor. Um, Rocky uh, was Rocky's compressor, and then he he had Rocky had a tendency to take things apart but not put them back together. And one time he he mentioned he had that. I said, "Well, you had it," and I said, "Well, I'll get it running for you, but you got to scare up all the parts, you know." So we put, loaded all the parts and hunted, brought it over here. And the motor it turned out had a, it's a Continental six-cylinder engine on these things, and um, Somebody left water in it, you know, and it does freeze up here, and they broke the block. So, but I got it going, and it uh, ran sort of okay. It was got a lot of blow by, but then um, then I gave it back to Rocky. But I said, you got to watch the water because it kind of leaks yet. I he JB weld it, that sort of thing. But then he discovered that uh, it didn't leak so much if he didn't put water in, <laughs> and so so I took out the motor. So I had to find another motor, and they're real hard to find the proper one. There's two of them. One has a uh, the thrust crank thrust bearing on the front of the uh, front of the crank, and the other one on the back, kind of conventionally. And of course, this is the old one, and uh, it had it on the front. So I cut. They they fit in the same place, but you know you got to put the proper one in when you got something like this. I uh, managed to find one down in uh, Casa Grande for a price. It was at a junkyard, and of course he knew what he had. I guess these engines are real popular because they. Continentals came in a lot of different things, you know, not just compressors and tractors and all sorts of stuff. But anyway, I put that, had it over all and put it all back together, and and Rocky used it some actually, and and um, it got a lot. Of, it got some odd things. It's it's a two-stage compressor, and um, uh, the radiator on this end is the intercooler for between the first stage and the second stage, and then the radiator on the back is for the motor and they're exactly the same radiator amazingly so that front one runs at like 30 pounds you know <laughs> and uh, I had to, it took me I think I spent two weeks soldering it's got uh, 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 the tanks are soldered onto the the uh, copper core and they're cast iron tanks and I learned you can solder cast iron I had no idea you could do that but it took me a long time but I got it all soldered back on there and uh, so now it runs and so uh, Come to think of it, I better get my uh, get my uh, ear protection here, because uh, uh, my ears ring bad enough the way it is. You know, you don't really need any more on this thing. So the way the way it works here, you you know, I put in a you know it's t six volts. So the the problem is, you know, six volts don't crank very well. And then I put an eight volt in. Uh, which are, you know, they had, you get down the interstate, you get them for 40 bucks or something, you know, somebody, American idiots don't know how to run, you know, they can't figure out the metric system, let alone how a charging system works, so they get these batteries that come back from the idiots that uh, can't figure out how a battery works, and uh, so you can pick them up pretty cheap, but it, it went bad, so now I put a 12 volt in for starting, and I use the 8 volt for, for the ignition and stuff like that, and so, the, so I just uh, up the uh, voltage regulator a bit to, uh, and so the way you, start, way you run these things is you, you pull this lever back, which disengages the clutch to the compressor, and then this is the, uh, this is, gives you a little, you, that would be full throttle, or in other words, up on the governor, and you pull back and it idles. So, uh, and of course you don't want to have any, uh, you really don't want to have a muffler on something like this, because it kind of ruined the effect. So you just turn the switch on, and uh, hit the button. <laughs> warm up here a little bit and I notice it uh, the full battery real good. It's actually a little too good. Uh, it cooks the water out, but it's the battery's no good anymore anyway, which is won't crank on the eight. So now I uh, I just uh, charge the coil bolt up every once in a while. It just it, 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 when a when a six volt starter is cranked on twelve volt it idle it slows down, you know. <laughs> so so it uh, it uh, uh, it really winds them over, you know, you just don't want to get too uh, too uh, heavy on the switch. So these are the gauges here, 
And this is the first stage. This is the second stage. This is what it all that goes to. I have it set around 100 pounds. And then uh, this is the oil pressure for the uh, for the motor, and this is the oil pressure for the the, the compressor. So you start out, and uh, well, you push put a little oil in these things. Uh, that's the valves and stuff for the. This cuts the throttle back when it gets up the pressure and shuts the motor down. So you take this and wind this baby out. Get it wound up good. Yeah, well, hopefully it's uh, warmed up enough. And then you just take this here lever, and away it goes. So the oil pressure comes up. That's the inner stage. That's first press. That's first stage. And then this is the second stage right there. So now the pressure's coming up. And uh, we had to go up to around 100 pounds. This will be up in here. And then it will... Uh, it will kick. There's some valving in here, uh, which kicks the uh, kicks the pressure, uh, makes the first stage quit compressing. So that unloads the compressor, and then it kicks the throttle back and sits there and idles. You know. And then if you want air for the for the uh, hose, you just do that. And uh, don't ever let that get off there. It'll probably kill somebody when that baby would fly around. So that's the way it works. That's all there is to it. Took a lot of effort to get it to this point, uh, but it uh, finally, it finally got everything working good. It's been working uh, now for several years, and I always drain all the gas out and stuff. So this is a, this I think the 105 means 105 cfm uh, at 100 pounds. I think the spec on the thing. So it just, uh, you see, as there's, you know, everything I own leaks or oscillates. This would be a leaker. So who knows where the air goes? But it kind of leaks out here and there. But uh, you got plenty of gas. So you just put more pressure. So that's how it works. You've got a, got a compressor that uh, uh, you can go out and blow the holes, the dirt out of the holes in the road, which is what I've been doing. It's all, we're all done now. And well, except for a little, uh, i got to put a little uh, more fill in along the side here. The uh, garbage man screwing up my asphalt here and the post office. But that's another thing. Anyway, that's a, that's a uh, Jaeger, Jaeger 105 in action.